What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to The Cosmic Wonder. I'm your host, Warren, and we've been finding out a lot about what Marvel Studios is planning to do for the upcoming multiverse saga films. And today, we'll specifically be talking about the films that are going to affect Avengers 5 and what exactly is going to go down in Avengers 5. Now, again, for those who might not know, we still don't particularly know ourselves whether Avengers 5 is going to be something completely new or if it's going to be still heavily focused on Kang. Now, we know that they're going to mention Kang in this movie. They kind of have to going into Avengers Secret Wars after this Avengers film. And at this point, multiple insiders have confirmed that Kang is indeed still going to be the main villain of the multiverse saga. Now, it's been said that Marvel Studios kind of wants to lay low for a while when it comes to Kang, but Avengers 5 is years away at this point. We have a couple of years until it comes, so that's plenty of time to kind of let everything with Jonathan Majors die down, which is what we believe Marvel Studios is trying to do. Eventually, though, they will recast Kang the Conqueror. But of course, that leaves us with a question, well, what is Avengers 5 going to be about? Well, it looks like it's going to be the culmination of a lot of different stories that have recently taken place in the MCU, building right up to Avengers 5, which will ultimately build right up to Avengers Secret Wars. Now, we'll dive right into what is going to set up Avengers 5 and what is going to happen in Avengers 5 based off what we know so far. But first, we've heard an interesting rumor about who the director could possibly be for the next Avengers film, and I have to say, I would really like this choice. According to a recent rumor slash report from the account Holyfield Scoops, who has been doing some scoops recently, John Favreau is heavily favored at Marvel to direct the project. Now, I have been a fan of John Favreau for a really, really long time. He has directed some movies that I truly do love, plus not to mention some episodes in the Star Wars universe as well. Plus, he is a highly valued person for Disney. He works with Star Wars, he works with Marvel. In fact, he directed the very first Iron Man film, which launched the MCU. And that very first Iron Man film is still regarded as one of the best superhero movies of all time. Plus, not to mention, John Favreau basically helped build the MCU right next to Kevin Feige. He's been an executive producer on pretty much everything, if not all of the really, really big things like Avengers Endgame, Avengers Infinity War, Avengers Age of Ultron, and the first Avengers film. Plus, not to mention all the Iron Man films. Plus, like I mentioned, he directed Iron Man 1 and Iron Man 2, and for those of you who love this movie, he directed Elf as well. So he's already worked on every single Avengers project that Marvel Studios has released. He worked on the Iron Man projects, directing the first two movies, and I think he would be an excellent director for Avengers 5, but go ahead and let me know what you think about this in the comments down below. Now, according to the same report that states John Favreau is heavily favored at Marvel to direct the project, it also states that the new MCU Avengers will begin to form in Marvel Studios' upcoming Captain Captain America 4 film slash post credit scene assembled by Sam Wilson and Bruce Banner. There will be more members on their team than the OG 6. Now, this isn't exactly new information. We pretty much knew that this was going to happen. We don't have the OG 6 Avengers anymore. We don't really have much OGs left, but Bruce Banner is one of them. And Falcon, at this point, is pretty much an OG. I mean, he's been here since Captain America, the Winter Soldier. Plus, he's the new Captain America. It would make sense that the Hulk and Sam Wilson would get together to form a new Avengers team. The only question really is at this point, point is why? What exactly is going to bring everyone together to actually form the Avengers again? Well, in the same report, it's stated that Captain America 4, Shang-Chi 2, and Spider-Man 4 is going to set up the events for Marvel's untitled Avengers 5 project, with Tom Holland being the lead of the movie, which we already knew. Well, this is very interesting because it's going to combine several different aspects to Avengers 5. And this lines up with what we have heard recently about Marvel Studios combining multiple projects into one. For example, you might have caught the video that we did recently about Eternals 2 kind of being canceled. I say kind of because what they're going to do is throw the Eternals and their story into another project. A project that's not just about the Eternals, but is about multiple different characters. Sounds like they're going to do this for Avengers 5 as well, because recently it's been stated that the next Avengers film is also going to have aspects of World War Hulk to it. Now, there might be some confusion when it comes down to World War Hulk. The next Avengers film is not simply going to be all about this storyline. It's not going to be all about the Hulk, but will include aspects of that story. The insider My Time to Shine Hello even came out today and stated that the film isn't just going to be about World War Hulk. Somebody asked the insider on X, is it true that Avengers 5 will just be World War Hulk? In which she replied, no. And that is because it is not just 
going to be World War Hulk. It's going to be a bunch of different storylines combined into one. And that is due to all of the films that are going to build up to it. It is going to include some aspects of a World War Hulk storyline because of Captain America 4. We've talked about this several times, but of course, in Brave New World, we're going to see that Thunderbolt Ross is still experimenting with Super Soldier Serum. And through experimenting, he is going to be creating other versions of other Hulks. Red Hulk is one of those versions, which of course he himself will become. And this is a reason for the Avengers team to come together. They need to stop, essentially, the creation of more Hulks. So yes, that is going to be one of the storylines in Avengers 5. However, there are going to be more. And ultimately, I do believe it'll be brought back to Kang. And that's where Shang-Chi 2 and Spider-Man 4 come in. At the end of Spider-Man 4, based off of what we've heard so far, it is going to include some multiversal elements. Now, I'm quite sure Marvel Studios might have done this on their own, but based off of what we've heard recently, this is something that Sony really wants. Sony wanted Spider-Man 4 to be a big multiversal film, whereas Marvel Studios wanted to be more grounded. And basically what we've heard recently is that they've pretty much reached a compromise, where most of the film will be a grounded street-level film, but at the end, they'll do something big with the multiverse, which again, I'm pretty sure Marvel Studios would have done anyways, because yes, Spider-Man is going to be one of those projects that leads into the Avengers film. The Avengers film that was originally titled Kang Dynasty. So yes, multiverse aspects are coming. The same is true for Shang-Chi 2. From what we know, a big part of this movie is going to be about, again, the Ten Rings. Not about using them, though, about determining and discovering where they came from. The last we heard about them in the post credit scene of Shang-Chi 1 was that that they sent out a signal to someone or something out there in the universe. And at this point in time, most of us believe that it's Kang technology and it's sending that signal to Kang. So it's very easy to see how Shang-Chi 2, which will be about Kang technology, will lead up to the next Avengers film that was supposed to be all about Kang. Now again, we know Avengers the Kang Dynasty or Avengers 5 now. Even if Kang isn't a huge part of this, the multiverse will be and incursions will be as well because this movie, of course, is essentially kind of a part one to Secret Wars, which is the part two. Avengers 5 is definitely going to be about the multiverse. And if everything that we've heard is true, Kang is still behind everything. Kang is still the big bad of the multiverse saga. So Avengers 5 will contain multiple storylines to it. We'll get some story about Captain America and the Hulk, maybe even some stories about Kingpin and how he's the mayor of New York City and how it's corrupt at the moment. We basically might see the Avengers kind of doing different things in Avengers 5 before they come together. And we've kind of seen this before. Even in Avengers Age of Ultron, the Avengers were tackling a threat, which ultimately did have to do with the movie. It did set up Ultron because of the Infinity Stone, but it wasn't about Ultron per se. So the Avengers film in the beginning is basically going to bring the Avengers together because we haven't had any movie that's really mentioned the Avengers yet, or even a Disney Plus show, short of Kamala Khan talking about her love for the Avengers. So the beginning part of the Avengers film is going to have to set up the new Avengers team and bring them together. In doing so, we will see what these people are up to currently. I believe Sam Wilson and the Hulk will be pretty big focuses in the beginning of the movie. After all, Captain America going up against the President of the United States as Red Hulk, that's a pretty big deal. Plus it's another Hulk, so obviously our Hulk would get involved. Other Hulks appearing would cause our Hulk to fight with Captain America, and they probably would think to get the Avengers. But what brings together new characters, like Captain Marvel, Valkyrie, who aren't exactly new but weren't a part of that OG Avengers team? And what brings back characters like Ant-Man and Thor? Well, that threat has to be really big, enough to call in some really powerful superheroes like Captain Marvel and Thor. Heroes who typically aren't on Earth. Well, Kang would do the trick, and the threat of their universe being destroyed and the multiverse being destroyed will certainly do the trick as well. Plus, not to mention one story that we've heard is that our universe is heading for a collision with another universe. And I think this is going to be really the big thing that leads us into Secret Wars and starts to set up the multiversal Avengers team. Our universe colliding with another universe. This is what is going to bring characters together like our Avengers team with the Fantastic Four. Plus, not to mention it will probably be the X-Men universe that we collide with. If you caught my video yesterday, then you heard that there's a good chance that the universe we could collide with could be that X-Men universe. And yes, although the X-Men and the Avengers might not get along at first, ultimately they'll have to come together to save the multiverse. And I believe the end will really set everything up. The end of Avengers 5 should end essentially with the Avengers losing, with the incursion happening, them being unable to stop it, and essentially our universe collides with another universe 
many, many people die, but there are some people left over. Now, all of a sudden, we have the X-Men, the Fantastic Four, and the Avengers together. The Avengers in our universe probably just having lost to Kang, which will tell everybody that in order to restore their own universes and the multiverse as a whole, they'll have to defeat Kang the Conqueror and probably steal his tech. Now, ultimately, I don't think that's how the multiverse will be restored, but I think that's what they'll think at first, much like in Avengers Endgame, they thought that simply finding Thanos and using the stones that he just used to undo what he did would work, but of course it wasn't that simple. I think it'll be fairly similar in Avengers Secret Wars. They'll try to use Kang technology to restore the damage that he has done, but ultimately realize that it is not that simple. And then that is how we get our MCU soft reboot. All of the heroes realizing that they simply just can't restore everything that's been damaged. However, they can restore some of it, but some universes might have to live with other universes. And I think that is truly how we get all of these different characters in a new universe with characters like Iron Man, Black Widow, Captain America being able to come back. New versions of these characters, not Robert Downey Jr. and Chris Evans, etc., but new versions of these characters. So a lot is going to happen building up to Avengers 5, and a lot will happen in the beginning of the film when we see the Avengers actually come together, and then probably, hopefully, fight Kang the Conqueror. If they don't fight Kang, then maybe they'll fight Doom. There have been talks about there being two main villains in the MCU, with Doom being that other villain. Now, I do believe that if Doom is one of the villains, he probably got his hands on Kang technology and will be kind of similar to Kang. But regardless of whoever the villain is going to be in Avengers 5, we know that eventually what is going to happen is the destruction of our universe and the multiverse as a whole. And I personally am excited for kind of a bunch of different stories to be combined into either Either the first half or the first third of a movie. Because this also goes with Marvel Studios' plan, their new plan, where they're not really going to do movies or projects about anything that could be kind of risky. So instead of just scrapping a bunch of projects, they're starting to combine them with other projects. So I'd much rather see some stories get finished and told rather than not, and to throw them in a giant movie would be pretty cool to see. But hey, go ahead and let me know what you think about this in the comments down below. Do you like this? Do you not like this? What do you think? Let us know in the comments and please don't forget forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any of the recent MCU news. And if you subscribe and leave a comment, you're entered in our giveaway for a chance to win a PS5, an Xbox Series X, or some Marvel Legends items. The winner gets to pick one item and we pick one winner at the end of each month. You can find us on Instagram and Twitter and Spotify podcasts and Apple podcasts as well. And as always, thank you all so much for watching. Woof woof.